Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a few scriptures, uh, pretty much um, laying back and off of uh, the beloved elder. Ariyam Lab's lesson he did, uh, the Elder Apostle uh, Ariyam Lab's lesson he did on Friday afternoon. Um, you know, going into uh, you know you get what you you get what you put into the truth. You know, which which couldn't be um, uh, better said. You know, because uh, you know one thing I've noticed, you know, through the Spirit, you know, from from a few lessons that I moderate. Um, you know, certain individuals coming on the comment board, you know, posting a ton of scriptures, you know, on point with the lesson as well. You know, on point, heavy scriptures, heavy scriptures, heavy precepts. Right. And you go on their you go on their page. And there's no works, man. Not one video. Not one video feeding the sheep. But here it is. They're on the comment board. Posting tons of precepts. You see, or individuals, you know, within the body, you know, that are doing the work, but, uh, you know, minimum, man, uh, minimum wage, man, minimum wage work, you know, which obviously isn't going to be acceptable, you know, with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You see, he, he doesn't want you to be lukewarm, man. <laughs> He'd rather you be cold, man. You see, we're supposed to be on fire for this thing, like the elders say. We're supposed to be on fire for this word. You know, like like the elder, um, uh, elder Tahar, elder apostle Tahar says, um, he's, he he has said um, there should be a camp on every street corner, man. There should be a camp on every street corner. You know, because here it is, like I said, there's, 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 there's brothers popping up on the comment board, leaving comments as well, you know, on videos, on my, on, my, on my platform, you know, you go on their page, no works, but they're leaving precepts, you know, on point precepts, and they're also on, on live streams. Now, I'm not going to say no names. You should know who you are, you know? Why aren't you uh, uh, testifying your savior, your, your power openly, man? You know, why aren't you doing the work? If you know, if you if you have this knowledge, man. You know, don't you not realize that um, like the like the beloved brother out of Orlando, uh, GMS Orlando said uh, this past weekend's camp uh, yesterday. He said what uh, for a lot of you for a lot of you men. Right. That have this knowledge, roughly paraphrasing. He said uh, your 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 um your hard drive, man, right? Your hard drive is going to testify against you, man. Your hard drive is going to testify against you. Because you may be thinking, you you know, you, you you playing, you know, man, but you can't play Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Scripture says he searches the reins, man. See, he knows those of us that are resisting the, the Holy Spirit. Which is which is which is which falls into what disobedience, man. And you know it doesn't end well for being disobedient. You know, so those of us that have this word that have been endowed, you know, with the Holy Spirit, we are to put on as the elect. We are to go all out, man, and utilize the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down as examples, man, on how to move in this thing. Hey, because we're supposed to be redeeming the time. We're supposed to be buying back the time. We've been niggas, right, in this in this world for the majority of our lives. We're supposed to be buying back the time. 
We're supposed to be seeking our power 10 times more. We're supposed to be going all out. All out. You know, so through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh I want to show a clip of um uh, the beloved elders' uh, lesson uh, from from two days ago, from Friday afternoon. You know, but before I do, I want to grab um the book of Second Timothy, the second chapter. You know, starting that verse, starting from the top. And it reads, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Right, we're under grace right now, man. See? We're under this is the grace period where we gotta we got we have to do everything we can to get it right. Okay, well, this is temporary exemption, man. From the judgment that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to bring to the nation, man. That's why it's called Jacob's trouble that's coming. It's going to rest upon two thirds. See? And those, and those men that had this word, right? That didn't do what was required of them, okay? That hid their talent under a napkin. Guess what? You're going to be beaten with many stripes. Meaning what? You're going to fall victim. To the scourges and the calamities that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is gonna bring to this planet Earth. You see? This is why we gotta we gotta uh, 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 be strong in the grace, okay, in this grace period, right? That is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. If it wasn't for Yahweh Shai, we wouldn't have a grace period. If it wasn't for the blood that he shed, the torture that he went through, we wouldn't have a chance. We wouldn't have we wouldn't have no way back to the Father. So the least we can do, right, is do everything we can, making our bodies a living sacrifice and going all out. You know, giving that diligence, right? Continuing on. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Right. What scripture say? <laughs> um, uh, 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 seek those, roughly paraphrasing, uh, meat for repentance, man. You see? Which would be the hopeful elect. Scripture says not to cast your pearls to swine. You know, which are these heathen and the rest of the nation that aren't going to receive it, these two thirds. You two third Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. See, we're looking for the we're looking for the remnant of Israel when we're on the highways and byways when we're doing these digital epistles. Okay, which is another thing. These digital epistles are critically important, man. You know? Because doing these doing these digital epistles in comparison to going out on the highways and byways is is if not equally or or even more important, man. You see, because uh, these digital epistles are going out, okay, uh, uh, on the frequency, man, on the waves, man, through these satellites. You know, the, the, these digital epistles are reaching further, okay, than us being on the highways and byways fishing. See, these digital epistles are critically important. The, the internet's doing a heavy lifting, like the elders say, which is the, which is true. These digital epistles are critical, you know. These these little private sit downs, you know. Obviously, the camp videos going out. It's critical. Okay, this is how uh, what Matthew twenty four and fourteen. This is how this gospel is being preached throughout all four corners, throughout all four corners of the earth. And then the end is going to come uh, literally as well. You know, there's there's you know, men throughout all four corners of the earth that have been raised up through the Holy Spirit. You see. Starting with the elders and apostles, a great millstone on down. You know, this thing started in New York and now it's sprawled out throughout all four corners of the earth, man. 
So literally as well, but as well, uh, but not only literally as far as physically, but also through the digital epistles. Because this thing can be uh, translated. You can you can open up the closed caption and you can speak Chinese now, man, or vice versa. For those that 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 um, see the videos in other countries, you know. I mean, I, 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 I've said it free. I've said it um, often, you know, some time ago um, when I started making lessons through the spirit, you know, that I, 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 le I came across the truth um, through the unicorn. And most of us did. Giving credence to this being a, a, a very important um, aspect of pushing the word. See, a, a very important um, apparatus that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has created for this word to get out. Right, continuing on. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also, because that's the that's the that's the whole key in this thing. You know, you 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 Akiyam that got this word, you know, you're posting all these, these scriptures on the comment board, right? You you you're on the chat, the the live the live streams, you're all over the comment board, posting tons of scriptures. Why aren't you out there, teach? Why are we going on your page and there's no lessons? Why? Continuing on. Thou therefore endure hardness. Endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Bahashem, of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, Salakia. You see, let's read that again. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Hey, we are to endure. And when you go into that word endure, endure, suffer. We had to suffer hardness as a good soldier. Of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Right? And we're supposed to suffer patiently. You see that? Suffer something painful or difficult. Patiently. Those that endure until the end. The same shall be saved. And that word endure. <laughs> we're going into it now. Goes into suffer. So we had to suffer patiently. You see? Which consists of us pushing this word with all our might, man. And with all our soul, everything we got, you know, you know, three, four days, three, I mean, two, three, four days, shouldn't, shouldn't relapse and there's no lesson. Come. There's too much to get into, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is showing us things. He's showing us signs of the times, you know, this word has to go out. Let's go get this clip real quick from the beloved elder. It's several minutes long. We're going to let it play out until the point's made. Anyways, this is the point right here in the sixth verse. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. So the bottom line in this verse, it encapsulates the title of the video of this lesson. You get out of the truth what you put into it. He that soweth sparingly Shall, uh, shall reap also sparingly. So what do you do when you sow? You're planting. So if you plant sparingly, let's say you have a, a an acre. You know, I'm, I don't know how big an acre is. I will have to look it up. But you know, let's say you have an acre and you only plant three or four seeds in a corner and you're thinking, yeah, you know, those three or four seeds, this whole acre is going to be full. You over here, is, you know, like, yeah, yeah. I can't wait. You know, once the once the uh, season comes in, I'm gonna have this whole acre full of, of seeds. 
But you only put three or four seeds in there because you being stingy. Then you come back during harvest and you might see one plant, if that. And you're like, what happened? Well, you sowed sparingly. So you're going to reap sparingly. Same thing in the truth. You're only just doing just enough to get by. Oh, the apostles watching or oh, the elders watching. Nobody watching. I right, sit back and chill. And thus saith the Lord, you know, doing shit for eye service because a brother's watching you because a brother got on you because a brother cursed you out. Now, all of a sudden, you're on fire to do the work. You're just doing just enough to get by. You, you're, you're, you're getting a D, you know, on your report card, just enough to pass. Well, you're showing sparingly. Guess what? You're going to reap sparingly. Matter of fact, let's look up that word sparingly. You know, because, you know, Jake think they're slick. They think they have, you know, they think they have the, everything sewed up. You know, they think that they're slick. They have a pattern, you know, and in that pattern, they're only doing so much. Every time a brother's looking, boom, oh, he might not do a video for a week. <laughs> then all of a sudden, a whole barrage of videos come up. You know, now, if you, you know, let me say it this way. Some brothers do that because, you know, of their job situations or whatever the case may be. That's a different story. I'm talking about the guys that have the time and the opportunity and fucking healthy ass fucking bodies. And they ain't doing shit with the knowledge that they have. They got the knowledge in their goddamn napkin. Here it is. You sound the fucking body, sound of mind. You got the knowledge and you ain't doing shit with it. And them brothers that are fucked up and sick that are trying to do the work, that are having a hard time doing the work, are fighting and striving to get the word out. You motherfuckers should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. You motherfuckers, I got, your mind is good, your fucking body is good, and you're fucking bullshitting. You should be a goddamn shame of yourself. You got brothers that sick as fuck making you look bad. R running circles around you with the, with, with the work, with the word. And there's nothing wrong with you. <sighs> Shit makes you sick, man. Just thinking about it. That's all right, because the Lord knows. And that's right. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai knows. See, he knows what's going on behind the scenes, man. See, you can play, you can play us, but you can't play the Lord, man. You can't play Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know? And this is why this is being revealed. You know, because through the spirit, like a week ago, you know what I mean? I'm like, one of the brothers on the live stream going crazy with the priest. So I'm like, I was a moderator for the channel. And I'm just like, let me check this one out real quick. No works. The piss, it, the, that pissed me off. You know? That pissed me off, man. You know, because which you, you're spitting in the face of our power, man. Doing that, man. You're playing with his word. You're playing with the word, man. Let's continue on. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 2. In verse 3 again, thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, right? This is supposed to be primary, this word. Everything else is second to none. Yahweh Shai said, uh, 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 if you don't hate your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, and come after me, roughly paraphrased, you cannot be my disciple. That word hate goes into what? Love less. Love less. Everything else is second to none. We are supposed to bear our cross. And each other's crosses, man. You see, through the Spirit, that's why I'm doing this lesson. Because through the Spirit, you know, this is going to reach somebody, man. You know, that needs to hear this. You know, that knows that they're not doing enough. You know? That's not examining themselves daily. 
to see whether they be in the faith. You know, this is this is a form of love, man. Hey, because we want to see we want to see uh, uh, those of us down on the front line and those of us that, you know, uh, have been given that spirit to do this work. We want to see all of us make it, man. We don't want to see each other fall, man. That's that nigga culture, man. Them niggas like, uh, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans in the world like to see each other fail, man. See, we don't move in that energy. We don't move like that. We want to see each other make it. This is why we do things like this. Invest in time and effort to go into precepts, to 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 uh, bring forth a message, to help inspire. One of, one of the fellow Akiyama, Ak, uh, 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 Akwathium, you know, because you woman need to be in order. On your end, you ain't going to be out here teaching. You shouldn't be posting no precepts on no comment boards, you know, but you ought to be in order. You know, from keeping silence in the church to being obedient to your husband. You know, being humble and meek. You know, it's being obedient, man. You see? Because there's an order to this thing. But this is focusing on the Akiyam. You know? You know, this is this is a form of love, you know, to, to you know, Lord willing, you know, this rests upon a, a brother that, you know, needs to hear it, to light that fire. Under them, man. You know, so you're not beaten with many stripes, man. When you score, just come, because that's gonna be the outcome if you if you don't if you don't pick it up. You know, those of you that are making zero lessons, but posting all these precepts, man. <sighs> you don't know it, but you mock, man. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, right? That he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. See, we've been chosen to be soldiers for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So do not do the work to to with with full power, you know. Guess what? Hey, we're slapping away the hand that feeds us, man. You see, we're 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 pulling away at the shoulder from our power. See, that, that goes into disobedience, resisting the Holy Spirit. Right? And we don't want to be that guy. And if a man also strive for masteries, right? We're striving for what? That crown. We're striving to be part of that, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, that, that, that first resurrection. See? We want to be part of that thousand year reign with Hamashiach. Laying down justice and judgment. How do you expect to be one of those men when you can't even get your house in order, starting with yourself to do the work that has been uh, given you, man? Yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully. See? We are to strive lawfully, understanding that we entered into other men's labors, and these labors are not in vain, and that we're just passing through, and we've been called to do a mission. And that is the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Our bodies are not our own, man. A lot of you, Akiyama, putting things before this word. And that's why your works show that. You see? This is why your works are lacking. Because other things uh, are coming before this word. You see? And when you go into this word, let's go to the blue letter real quick. The book of 2 Timothy. Let's go right back to 2 Timothy. I want to get this word. Strive. Strong's G one eighteen. Athleo. Athleo. Right. To engage in the contest, contend public games, contend for pride. To endure. You see that? To endure. Let's get a little more. Bear with me. 
to contend, strive. Let me see here. To contend in competitive games, strive. Uh, let me see the etymology. There was actually another um, definition I wanted. Let me see if it's... Um, let me go back. Salakia. So Matter of fact, I wanted to get it in Luke. Let's go get it. Let's go to Luke. What did Yahweh Shai say? Let's go to Luke 13. And let's go to um Let's go to the red letter. Bear with me. Luke chapter 13. In verse 24, strive to enter in at the straight gate. What's a straight? A position of difficulty. And when you get this word strive in Luke chapter 13 and verse 24. Strong's G75. Agonizamai. Agonizamai. It goes into... To enter a contest, contend, to contend with adversaries, fight. Fight. You see? It goes into fight. Strong's info, figuratively, right? Contend, to endeavor, to accomplish something. Fight. Labor fervently. Okay? This is what we are to do. To labor fervently. To fight. Let's go back. Let's get it from there. The book of Luke chapter 13 and verse 24 again. Strive or fight. Right? To enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. That straight gate is going to lead to the kingdom, man. You see, all you got to do is read 2nd Ezra, uh, what's that? The 7th chapter. Okay? It's going to lead to the kingdom. We have to go through the straight gate. Okay? It's not going to be easy doing this work. You know? We're going to do it with, we're going to do, we're going to do these lessons with migraines. We're gonna go out on the highways and byways with migraines. We're gonna do these lessons sick, not feeling, you know, feeling under the weather. We're gonna go out to the highways and byways feeling sick and under the weather. You see? We're gonna be deprived of sleep, low on energy doing these lessons. We're gonna go out on the highways and byways being de uh, deprived of sleep and low on energy. You know, that's all just that's just part of our, our bearing our cross. That's part of fighting. It's not gonna be a cakewalk. And ultimately, when we're persecuted, when the church is persecuted, that's going to be the ultimate test. That's going to determine who's that fine gold or ofer. You see? And who's going to just melt away in their impurities, man. Hey, When this persecution comes. Let's read this again. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in. And shall not be able, right? Many are called, but few are chosen. And the ones that are not chosen are going to be the ones that didn't fight. Because scripture says, let's go here real quick. We're supposed to put everything into this thing. The book of Ecclesiastes Chapter 9, 
in verse 10 and it reads, Whatsoever, Salaki, a matter of fact, let's get it from here. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9 and verse 10, and it reads, Whatsoever, and the title is whatever your hand finds to do. That's the spirit. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. Let's get this word might. Strong's H, 3581. Koach, Koach. Strength, power. You see, human strength, strength of angels. You see, which an angel is a messenger, which we are. You see, power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. You see, and we have the ability to do this work. We've been given the unction, man. We've been we've been given the spirit, the breath, the inspiration. We are not the hey, we we are not to resist the Holy Spirit. We are to do what's required of us, man. Hey, sometimes they'll be in the middle of the night. See? That's a heavy precept. Let's go back. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9 and verse 10, and it reads. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. Okay, so if you've been, if you find, uh, find out that you, you know you you can understand the scriptures, you know, as a man, right? You can understand the scriptures. You you have a, a fervent, uh, uh, um, you know, feeling of having to have to bring this word out. You know, you're posting a ton of precepts on comment boards and chats and lives. Hey. You need to do this work. You should be doing the work. You should be making lessons. Okay? Scripture says you should know a man by his fruit, man. You know, so when we go on comment, when we go on uh uh channels and there ain't no works, hey, and that and that and that and that, that tree is just barren, okay? It's damn just withering away. Hey, we know what kind of man you are, man. You see, we know exactly what kind of man you are at that point. You see? Hey, it's time to get your hands dirty, man. For those of you not doing this, not doing nothing, idling. You know? You got to get your hands dirty. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest right. What's that scripture say? Um, I believe it's in Sirach. Khan, let me get this real quick. The book of Sirach, the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 18 and verse 22. And it reads, let nothing hinder thee to pay thy vow in due time and defer not until death to be justified. You see, defer not until death to be justified, man. Those you men that, that, that have this word and you ain't doing the work, you're not fulfilling your lot. Hey, you are going to have no excuses, man. See, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to visit you with evil. You're not going to have that defense. You're not going to, that standard is not going to be lifted for you. Isaiah 59 and 19 is not going to play out for you. You see it? 
We have, hey, while you have breath in you, you got spirit in you, you got the inspiration of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai in you, you are to give diligence like the scriptures say. You are to go all out, okay? Not just post precepts on the comment board, man, and leave precepts on uh, on videos. You are to go all out. Brother should be able to go on your comment board, on your uh, page, Slakia, and see works. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 1, Hey, and those of us that are already doing the work, hey, we can be doing more. You know, I speak on behalf of myself first and foremost. You know, we can be doing more. We can never go far enough for our power, man. We can never go far enough. The book of 2 Peter chapter 1, but we can do too little though. <laughs> you see, we can do too little, but we can never go far enough. The book of 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 10, and it reads, Wherefore the rather brethren... Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. There's the blueprint in the nutshell. Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Let's get this word, diligence. Let's get it from the blue letter. So lock here. The book of Second Peter. Chapter one and verse ten in the word diligence. Strong's G forty seven oh four Spudazzo. Spudazzo. Right. Hasten, make haste. This is the one I want right here. To exert one's self. Endeavor. Give diligence. You see it? Let's get this word exert real quick. In the Google definition. Exert. We want the second one. Make a physical or mental effort. You see? Similar words. Make an effort. Strive. You see that? Strive. Which goes into what? We went into it. Wow, that's the spirit. <sighs> Fight. It go, it go, it, it, see, it all came right back around, man. Do one's utmost. Make every effort. Be at pains. It's not going to be easy. Strain. Toil. Labor. Spare no effort. Go all out. This is plain. And this is what's required. Hey, do one's damn this, man. I like that one. Give give it one's best shot. Hey, work like a Trojan. You see? Hey, this is what's required, man. This is this is what's required. And scripture says, let's go back, let's read 2 Peter again. We'll never fall, man. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 1 and verse 10 again. Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence. Diligence. Okay? Strive. Fight. To make your calling and election sure. For if ye... See, because we've been called, man. We've been called. We qualify to hope. But there's requirements that must be met in order to meet the demand, man. For if ye do these things... Ye shall never fall. See, and this is why we must examine ourselves. Like the scripture says, let's close out there because the point's made. Right? The, the point's made. The book of 2 Corinthians. Chapter 13. Um, Salakia. There it is. In verse 5, and it reads, 
Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith, man. Do you truly believe? Got to examine yourself. What are you doing too much? What are you in what are you what what are you investing more time in? What are you putting before the Lord? What are you putting before Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is causing you to be lacking in works or to not be doing anything at all? But you can post all these comments on the live streams though and leave and leave precepts on comment boards. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. You got to prove yourself, man. Know ye not your own selves? You don't know yourself? You don't know where you're going off at? You can't, you can't figure it out? Hey, because being spiritual, we have that, we have that, um, that feeling of a uh, doubt. You know, that feeling of I'm going off. I can't find the word I'm looking for right now, but that's the point I'm making. We all have that feeling like we know when something's not right in the spirit. You know? And if you ignore that, <laughs> sooner or later, it, hey, you know? Should I say more? At the end, hey, you keep ignoring that, you know? Hey, the Lord's going to ship you out into outer darkness, man. And none of us want that. None of us want that, man. You see, so we need to take heed, you know, to what the elders and apostles of Great Millstone are saying. We have to take heed. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is in you. How is he in us? The Holy Spirit. This is why we are not to resist it. That's a, that's a slap in the face, man, to our power, man. Who has chosen us to be soldiers as we read in 2 Timothy, man, the second chapter. Except ye be reprobates, man. And you don't want to be no damn reprobate. Let's get that word real quick. Hey, you don't want to be no damn reprobate. I know I don't want to be no reprobate. The book of 2 Corinthians. Let's get this real quick. We'll close out here. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 13. In verse 5, in that word reprobate. Strong's G96, Adakimas. Adakimas. And it goes into A, not standing the test. A, not approved. You don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be that guy that Yahweh Shai said, Hey, I never knew you. You want to hear great work, my faithful servant, man. Because at the end of the day, hey, it's playing upon tables, man. The blueprint is right before you. These scriptures tell us how to how to how to achieve success, man. That which does not prove itself, such as it are <sighs> lacking, right? Unfit for, unproved, spurious, a hey, reprobate, point blank. Hey, we don't want to we don't want to be in this category, man. Hey, so we gotta do what's required, man, and hearken, okay, hearken to what the elders and apostles of Great Millstone are telling us, man, and do the work. You know, do the work. You know, you Akiyam, again, I've said it maybe five times already that are posting all these scriptures 
on these live streams, man. For us to go, hey, for the moderators to go on your page and you got nothing to show, hey, that puts a nasty taste in my mouth. Me, I'll speak on behalf of myself. It almost makes me want to block you. Hey, we're redeeming the times, man. It's time to step it up. It's time to get your hands dirty. Or else you are going to find yourself in a tight spot when your Hawabah Shem Shai rains these calamities upon this place 100% full steam ahead. You're going to fall on the lot of the wicked, man. And you don't want that. Lord willing, you know, <laughs> whoever, you know, feels some type of way, you know, about these precepts that came out and how I delivered them, you know, if you feel, you know, offended, hey, that's good. That means that mess that means the message was to you. And Lord willing, you correct yourself, man. And you get it together, man, and do the work. You see? Hop on the battlefield, man. Hey, cause time is ticking. Okay, you don't want to be found as one of those, uh, 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 you know, slothful, uh, unfaithful servants, man. All praise, honoring, glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwathiam were edified. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kal Halalim La Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rakak Shalawam.